Hello! Today, I will talk about a simple and easy tip for calculating limit problems. For some of you who have studied or currently studying limit, I believe that you have seen those five formulas and have tried solving the problem on the right side. Generally, most students learn by multiplying and subtracting axes and then making the forms on the left side. This solution is how most students and textbooks usually solve. For this part, x squared is required to multiply and divide. And for this part, 5x is required to do the same thing. However, it looks pretty long and complicating. I will show the faster and easier way. Let's see one of the five cases which is sin x over x. As x approaches to 0, sin x over x becomes 1. It's not that all. As x approaches to 0, sin x and x become similar to each other. So we can let sin x be x. Not only sin x, tangent x, e to the x power minus 1, and ln x plus 1 become similar to x. So we can let these be x. In case of 1 minus cosine x, it becomes similar to 1 over 2 times x squared. Now, let's go back to the previous problem and redo it. As x approaches to 0, e to the x minus 1 approaches to x. Sin x approaches to x, but sin 2x approaches to 2x. Then 1 minus cosine 3x approaches to 1 over 2 times square of 3x. ln 2x plus 1 approaches to 2x. And tangent 5x approaches to 5x so it can be changed as below. And then you can easily simplify this equation and get 4 over 45. Next, I am going to explain tips to solve the limit problems which x goes to infinity. As x goes to infinity, the polynomial equations are always above logs, and the exponentials are above the those two. In this case, suppose that m, n, and p are positive. Now let's go back to those questions. In case of the first problem, x to the 1 over 2 power is above ln x to the 135 power. So the answer is infinity. In case of the second problem, x to the 10,000 power is below e to the x over 99, 999 power. So the answer is 0. The third case is somewhat different but easier. As x goes to infinity, the denominator x goes to infinity. The numerator sin x is undefined, but it must be between negative 1 and 1. So sin x over x must approach to 0 as x goes to infinity. The next tip is when solving the fraction forms of polynomials. When x goes to the positive or negative infinity, just focus on the greatest degrees on each part. The other parts of lower degrees are negligible. If the greatest degrees of denominator and numerator are equal, then we can calculate just with its coefficients. So the answer is equal to 100 divided by 10, which is 10. For your reference, if you often make mistake by negative sign on infinity, I would recommend you to substitute t equals to negative x so that t goes to infinity. The last tip is solving such form. When solving this problem, most people multiply and divide the same one, just changing negative sign to plus in the middle, in order to use the factorized form, which is a plus b times a minus b equals a square minus b square. So if you calculate this, you will follow these steps in the slide. It is a good way, but seems that it takes some time to solve but there is a faster way to solve. Let's go back to the problem. What I am going to do is to make these inside parts as complex square forms. To do this, I will separate the integer parts like the red below. As you know, each number is decided based on its left coefficient by dividing by 2 and then taking square. Then these parts can be translated to squared forms as below then you do not need to concern the other integer parts, so it can be changed as below, and then solve it. 
How was this video? Please hit like if you liked my video today and subscribe if you want to study math with my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.